Hello everyone, welcome back to Star Play Slay the Spire. Let's see, maybe today's daily? It's very early by the way. Maybe today's daily will be as ridiculous as yesterday's. I highly doubt it though. If you didn't see it already, I suggest you check out yesterday's daily. Freaking ridiculous how powerful that was. It's it's not a long video because you just stomp through everything, but it's the highest score I've ever done. Let's see what we got here. Silent, All-Star, Midas, Night Terror. All-Star can be really good. Midas is fun, but cannot upgrade at rest sites is kind of annoying. That's really bad. We cannot upgrade and resting costs us 5 max HP. It means we don't want to encounter rest sites at all. What do we get? Oh, some of the new ones. At the end of 3 turns, deal 30 damage to all enemies. And at 3 random attacks for your dropper, they cost 0 this turn. And then we can fetch him. This is not bad. Okay. Elite. Second elite and second elite here. I think the way we're doing it is going here. And then I prefer going this way. Because there is a rest site here and that will cost us 5 max HP. But on the other hand there is a shop here. I think we're still going on the no resting at all plan can I please oh okay I didn't get there yet let's see we neutralize yeah I think we go for all the damage here wait on one oh right because of the weakness metamorphosis dash is a great get actually really amazing And this way we actually... Yeah, I'm gonna take dash still. Gotta remember, we can't upgrade cards. I will just... maybe I'll just wait until we... I guess I don't. Until we can see the bomb damage. Is the bomb damage common now? Yeah. That's not too bad. Oh, I like Dagger Throw and I like Sucker Punch here. I don't think Bane is great. I think we're gonna... Maybe Sucker Punch is better, but I'm gonna take Dagger Throw. 200 gold on the shop? Nah, I gotta go for three of these. Mercury Hourglass. It's not great. Give me a dagger throw. And then two strikes is more damage than a dash. Those are really good ones as well. I'd rather take the metamorphosis than the bomb. I like flying knee and I like malaise. Who are we fighting against? Hey, I'll take malaise against this guy. Certainly. So I'll need one energy to make him so I can hit twice. And get this out of here and get him give him a minus nine strength. And then we take no damage. I mean, the Mercury Hourglass is actually really nice right now. Do I use the bomb and then defend 5 or do I defend 10 and use a dagger throw? Okay, we'll, we'll make it fast. I need to do to defend for two more turns. This is... that's really good. We only have to defend one more turn and now we just... Go for it and then the bomb clears out all the enemies. I will take some more steel. And I will... Probably... Storm of steel is what I want to do. Hmm. 
no block at all though. We get one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six times four damage. Two here, three here, and then I can defend the other one. Okay. That's that's how you do it, so we don't take any damage. I'll need one block and then we hit him with everything else. There you go. He's, the, the damage is adding up of these guys. Okay, I do like Dagger Spray a lot, but I think I'm gonna take another malaise. Simply because... Okay, this is pretty bad. Get rid of the malaise. Being able to stack two malaises on this boss will make it so he can't actually damage us. I can weaken you. Get metamorphosis and survivor. Take one. Kill him. These are kind of bad. Gotta take Blur because Blur is okay. Gotta continue on this one. I could have Blurred actually, maybe that would have been better. Okay, I have to... Let's see. He's splitting at 34. So I can do this, then he takes 3 damage at the beginning of his turn, and then we kill him. Because the bomb goes through. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing here? Acrobatics is great, especially since I kinda wanna keep the curse in here, trying to go for the co cursed bonus points. And then being able to discard the curse is kinda nice. Also acrobatics, drawing into more of the free cards, they cost zero this combat, I need one card draw so I'm probably going to take this. Give me a shop please, there's no shop. Okay, that was pretty easy. Again against the first floor fights are made surprisingly easy by Bronze Scales and Mercurial Hourglass. Noctis Fumes could be a very good finisher for us. Simply because our plan against the boss right now is malaising him twice so he deals literally no damage and then we can get a Noxious out there at some point and we just wait. I do like Predator as well though. Oh no. And the sneeze is coming up. Okay. <coughs> Ooh. Sorry guys, I hope this wasn't too loud. I tried to get the mic away. Storm of Steel, we have six strikes. So two here, two here, two here. It's not good enough. Three here, three here. Kill one, that's also pretty bad. I don't have any AoE attacks. So, a strike here. And then one, two, three, four, five. No, if we defend, then use five shifts, two here, three here, we take three damage. Okay, we take no damage. Okay. I 
I'm gonna take the piercing whale. Try to make the boss fight better for us. Acrobatics is I like the metamorphosis. But if we discard, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean we can discard this one. That is seven times four. Twenty-eight damage. Okay, let's put metamorphosis in there. Certainly not worth it, sadly. That was a good turn, though. Do I use the bomb and then block for 20? I'm gonna block all 30 damage. Take two? If this is all we're taking, that, that's an okay fight. And it seems like that is the case. Ooh, that was dangerous. Three ninjas. Ninja scroll, three shuriken at the start. It's okay. Do I take piercing whale again? Okay. I can malaise him so he doesn't deal any more damage. We can do this. Lose one strength. Lose nine strength. And then we have eight and nine damage to do. There we go. More card draw. We got a rest. Lose five max HP. And in we go against the Guardian. Shiv, shiv, shiv. Acrobatics. There's a malaise. Any free attacks I could get? No. So we will save up the secret weapon. I will lose the perfect here. That's ridiculous. Down to 15, I can get him down to 13, down to 12, then I take 12, but these will not prevent that, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's sad. I mean, he's at 9 minus 5 strength, so he's doing basically no damage. And we have the bronze scales that will finish them off quite fast. I lost the perfect already. I can I can go in there. Maybe I want the metamorphosis, actually. Get rid of the regret. And there's the bomb. Unfortunate. Gain energy in this card. Two cards at the start of each turn. Two 
cards. So we have four energy, but only three cards every turn. That seems terrible. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. And I really want it in. Guess we gotta take the tiny house. Let's see what we get. Defend upgraded is not amazing. I will take a back step. Makes our first turn a bit better. Let's see. One elite. Second and a third one. Sadly, there's the rest in between, but I gotta do it anyways. And then I'll go for the shop and the question marks. Okay, we got a route. It is all planned. And then we just go to town, I guess. And also take six damage. If we had any scaling relic, this would have been insane. I don't have to play anything here. Because the bomb will kill him. Kinda like the bomb. I'll take expertise over uh, uh, this one. Obtain 5 apparition, lose 50%. Will we go down to 35 max HP? And I'll have 5 turns, we don't do... do damage fast enough I don't think we can we can take this especially with losing 5 HP for every rest we will be down to no HP and no time guess we'll retain 5 15, 18, is 19 HP. Damn. He take 2 and then he dies on the first reflect. Melees could have been nice. Oh, the kite would have been so good, the relic, if we get unceasing top. And then we could have taken sneaky strike and I think that might be an arc time. Do we take a third malaise? I don't think so. Okay, I think it was worth getting a colorless card there. Let's see. I want panache. I want to upgrade two skills. Got the Jack of All Trades upgrade. Take the Blood Vial. I'll brew five random potions. Does seem great. Could remove a card. We could remove a basic strike. Why not? I have a new strategy trying to not remove curses in their daily to go for the maximum amount of points. And now, I guess footwork is also pretty nice. So it's blur. We could take the all-out attack. We need more shops for sure. Let's hope this is good enough. It's probably gonna resummon or buff. I guess this is a resummon. Come on, attack. He's attacking! So that was actually worth it. 18. 22. Look at that. I don't even have to do anything. We can't just wait here. Oh, finish that was free.
Maybe this is bad. We could have, could have probably kept it for this guy. Yeah. Saving this potion is probably... It's probably better to save this potion for... Um, for the boss fights. If we try to go for points, we need the, you need the perfects. Okay, I'll take this. No healing. Okay, I did it like this. So, we only have to do 46 damage, basically. Really? Like, really? Okay, listen here. Using my potions this early doesn't feel great. Okay, that's a kill. There's the second panache trigger. Give me more card draw. We have to go this way for the double elites there. This will get you down. Okay. That seems good enough. Leaving him on one is fine because of the hourglass as you just saw. If only we had Shuriken or Kunai. Oh, he actually hits us for one here. Didn't see that. How many zero cost cards do we have? One. So acrobatics is. Panache deals ten, right? Really, I was still. Oh, I was on three, right? Damn, that fight wasn't great. Ooh, do I take in Venom? I don't know, this daily feels absolutely mediocre. I'll take in Venom. A shov shovel is really, really good. Shovel is actually amazing because now we have something to do at campfire. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Take one and then we take two from this attack. Okay, that's an okay start, I think. And again, if we get the second malaise through... Okay, 
Okay, I guess we'll just block it. Wait, that kills him. And also Panastri has Oh, Varia is nice. And I think we have to wait. Let's dig something up. Gremlinorn seems okay. I wish we... So we have to go for more shops. Maybe I avoided shops too much, yeah. 18. 7. 10. 20. 15. I guess we go for the maximum amount of damage. Metamorphosis. And I guess get, taking one strength off him doesn't seem very good at all. Let's weaken him. Probably gotta get... Ah. So these two can kill him. This is actually really good. Because the free attacks of Metamorphosis triggered Gremlin Horn, we could actually do something like this. And then in the end, still some regret being had, but this is basically over now. Actually, it is precisely over. We hit him for 5, and then for an additional poison and 3 more damage. Sadistic Nature and Venom is a great combination. Pandem Dagger Spray? And then we go here. Banash. And Venom. It's gonna take one damage off the regret. Then he's dead. Also we can dagger spray. I need to play another card for the panache because it just triggered. Dagger throw, discard this. Strike, strike. And with pendant strike, we got there. Hey, also take a leg sweep. Okay, am I greedy again? Yeah, I'm greedy. That was very greedy, by the way. We should have probably healed here. It's also an amazing first turn. Weaken. Do I want Dagger Throw to try drawing some cards? It's free. I like the Predator. I don't think we can get Venom going here. I have a tiny amount of block. So we'll lose the perfect here, how do we get the best out of this? 16 and 7? It's not 25 to get a kill here. That could draw us a card with the Gremlin Horn, it's not happening. 16 and 7 is only 23. So I play Footwork plus Strike. Could have blocked five more damage, but I think this is better later on. No more perfects. 
draw a card here. It's a grab for Nelly, that's never gonna work. Oh, come on! I'd rather retain some energy. This is a buff, sadly. And now he's debuffing us. I see. Do I want to take the bomb in here? Okay, first we strike. Oh, that's a pendant strike. Actually... Okay. It's all of them dead right now. He's attacking for 31. My dude is attacking for 31. How do I block this? Not at all is my guess. Not at all is what I get. If I defend in malaise... It's gonna be the most I could prevent here with the weak. Down to 15. Finally we get panache in here. Draw some cards, hit him with it, hit him with that. Probably get the poison potion in. And he's resummoning, very good. So we survived uh, his triple debuff. Now is the dangerous part again though. Or rather, another dangerous part. Why is this so hard? Why is my deck so trash? Oh my god. We're basically dead now. One, that kills someone, discard this, we draw another card. Yeah, at some points we're, we're gonna die to this. Gonna be not much that we can do. Emergency blocking. I quite honestly think we're dead here because I was greedy. <sighs> Digging there was too greedy, and I, th I I thought, yeah, it was too greedy, and then I still did it. Oh my goodness, our score is terrible. I mean, yeah, we're in the top 100, but it's only an hour in, so that doesn't count. That was just really, really bad. Well, I'll try to concentrate better and, and play the next few dailies stronger. I mean, we what is it? We lost a daily, we got the free win with the strongest daily we've ever seen, and then we lost a daily? That's horrendous. I'm sorry about this, but it, I hope you guys at least had some fun. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode.